Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back. You want to open and close the same door or shutter with several switches? Or just simply operate lights and ramps from a distance? You've come to the right place. Let's check out the basics. We've got a nice door and a light along with two switches here on my epic base and some spaceships for decoration. So let's set up a basic circuit. Select Signal Logic on the control panel. Select a circuit and click on Add Circuit. Then you need to select the devices which will operate it. I've already placed two levers, so let's select these. Name your signal uniquely and don't forget to name your levers in the first place so you can find the right ones to select. Now select the device you want to operate in the list to the left or walk up to it, look at it and press P by default. It will select the device. Now you can select which circuit will operate it. If you simply want a single lever to toggle the device, just select it and you're done. If you want two different ones, you need the circuit we just created. Now there's also the mode of the signal. Follow means the signal will be intelligent. For example, you have two switches and one door. Someone opened the door manually without using a switch. If you now flip the switch to green, it will recognize the door is already open and nothing will happen. If you switch it to red again, the door will close. Toggle is the simpler version. It just sends a signal regardless of the device's state. So if someone opened the door, it will just open and close every time you activate the switch. In this case, it means every time you switch to green, the signal will be sent and the door will move. On and off is another option. This means activating a signal will just turn a device on or off, but not the other way around. If you select this option, a lever can, for example, only activate a light, but not deactivate it. So now that that's all clear, let's check out the different commands. First one is AND. It means that both levers must be sending a signal, otherwise the door will not open. Second is OR. It means that one of several levers is sufficient to open the door. Remember that this applies to all signals. You could also use a lever, a motion sensor and a pressure plate for example. Every single one of them would open the door if operated independently. Third is NAND. This means the signal is always there so the door already opened as you can see. If you now pull both levers, the signal will break off and close the door. Then there's NOR. It reverses OR and will cut off the signal if one of the sensors is triggered. You can see the door open the moment there's no signal. It closes once one of the levers is active. Number 5 is XOR or XOR. It will only send the signal if only one sensor of the array is triggered. So if you have several levers, it will only activate the door when one of them is triggered. Trigger two or more and no signal will be sent. Then in the end there's XNOR. It will send a signal if both sensors are in the same state. It doesn't matter whether that's on or off. The signal will be blocked if one of the sensors is in a different state than the other. You can of course combine the same action with other devices. For example, just bind the light to the lever and it will switch on and off once you operate the door. Alright, these were the basics of Imperion Signal Logic. If you found the video to be helpful or entertaining in any way, then feel free to subscribe, like, comment and share to help me grow my channel. Force your friends to stop by too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Magnets and Miracles.